All right, a very good morning to you. That was Force of Nature Extended, and we will be dealing with active weather throughout the day today here in southern Ontario. Light showers this morning. Yes, you need the umbrella, and this rain is only going to get heavier into the afternoon. Now, I want you to stay with us throughout the show because we are at Orchula Farms, and we're going to be showing you the pumpkin patch, going apple picking, and Tom, I want to welcome you back to the show. You were off on vacation last week, and how was it? Any ladders? Any roof repairs? Tell us, what did you do, Tom? All right, thanks so much for joining our morning show this morning. I know it's dull, it's cool. If you're dressing the kids to head out to school, dress for fall. The scarf, the jacket, you'll need it all. Umbrella, rain boots as well, because this rain that we're seeing right now, it's only getting heavier as we travel in towards the afternoon. But we've traveled here to Brampton and we're at the Orchula Farms, joined by Heather Laidlaw now. And Heather, what's this farm all about? Give us the lowdown this morning. It's Orchula Farms. Our, our family has run this farm for almost seven generations. Um, our grandkids are that seventh generation and they're coming up and, and helping us out. Um, we've actually, uh, we've got apples and pumpkins. Um, we've just opened the pumpkin patch last weekend, so it's been a fun time. All right, and great apples here. I have been apple picking here. The Mutsu, my favorite. I was telling Heather, I made an apple crisp the size of a lasagna, and you only needed about four to five apples because they are huge. Now, stay with us throughout the show because we'll be answering all those questions. When you have 100 apples after apple picking, what do you do with them all? And we're also going to be carving some pumpkins and taking a look at the pumpkin patch. So stay with us, and I'll send it inside now. Good morning, Tom and Emily. <laughs> Hi, thanks, Rachel. That looks like so much fun. All right, lots of active weather there in Force of Nature, and we are bracing for the active weather here today in the GTA. I know some of you already seeing the sprinkles of rain and cool temperatures dress for fall. It is 7 degrees in Toronto, 5 in Barrie, 7 in Hamilton. So, yes, the chilly trend, it continues. But I want to introduce you to Orchula Farms here on Heritage Road in Brampton and joined by Heather. And, Heather, this is the question everybody wants to know. You go apple picking. It's a ton of fun, but you have 100 apples when you get home. And what do you do with them all? Make some apple crisp, do some baking, get some soup made. You know, we've got some pumpkins uh, or pumpkins to do and some squash to make. You know, you can add apples to a lot of different things. It's, it's fun. And you know what? I've tried the soup and the apples before, and that is someplace cool. You also need a little bit of water because apples dehydrate, so you need some water in your fridge. The best place is your fridge because it needs to be about 32, 33 degrees. All right. And what kind of apples do we have behind us here? Because they look delicious. We have Ida Reds. They're the longest storing apple we have. They're an awesome apple. This is what I store for the winter, and they actually go right straight through till about April. All right, awesome. And if you want to come down, pick up a bag of apples here at Orchula. Ida Reds will still be lasting throughout next weekend. All right, coming up, we'll be taking a look at pumpkins and all of their wonderful pumpkin decorating ideas. Hopefully we'll be getting into that shortly. Okay, it's a chilly start to the morning across the GTA. Temperatures, yes, we are below seasonal to about seasonal. Right now, seven degrees in Toronto, only four in Oshawa, seven in Hamilton, five in Barrie. So yes, temperatures are chilly. As you're dressing the kids to head out to school today, you will need to dress for fall. The scarf, the jacket, you'll probably need them. And rain, Emily will have more on that. Rain will become stronger throughout the Day. But let's talk about something exciting. We are here at Orchula Farms in Brampton, Heritage Road, joined by Heather. And Heather, you said that your crop has done the best ever this year. We've had the largest crop we've ever had in our, in our entire lives. Um, huge crop, great season for them, great weather this summer for them. They absolutely loved it. And delicious, I can tell you that. But Heather, you know what? I was here on Thanksgiving Monday picking some apples, and I noticed a lot of apples on the ground. What do you guys do with all the waste? We actually pull the apples away from underneath the tree, and then we mulch them with a mower, and they go back into the soil for nitrogen. All right, so everything reused here, everything local, they only sell what they grow. And Tom? Oh. Mm. Did you hear that crunch? Delicious. <laughs> uh, I heard that crunch. I had an apple on the way in today. As a matter of fact, they are spectacular this time of the year. Let's go and have a look.
All right. Well, happy Monday to you, October the 20th. Active weather in store today, yes, for the greater Toronto area. And I'm sure for some of you, you're already hearing the pitter-patter on your roof of the rain. That's exactly what we're hearing right now at Orchula Farms. A chilly start to the morning, about 7 degrees, but let me brighten up your day. Introducing you to Heather and Larry. And Larry, apple season, it's come to an end, but pumpkin season, that's happening right now. Tell us a little bit about your patch. Well... Our patch is uh, just around the corner from our building here and people go out and they uh, try to pick the biggest, and nicest, prettiest pumpkin and the more they look, the more they conf the confused they get. Uh, it's kind of like looking for a car. Every time you go and look at a, a, a different car, you always try to upgrade and sometimes people can pick pumpkins in a few minutes or they'll be out there for an hour and Husbands get quite frustrated with their wives. So a little, not for the indecisive people picking that pumpkin. Now, Heather, we were talking a little bit. Pumpkin picking, you got to come prepared. What have you seen some people wear to go pumpkin picking? Hey, we've seen it all. We've seen flip-flops and, and stiletto shoes in, in the pumpkin patch. Really, really, really need to have those rubber boots today, though. <laughs> Absolutely, especially after a rain like this. So if you're heading down this week to Orchelaz to pick a pumpkin, rain boots, that's exactly what you will be needing. Okay, Tom, I'll send it back inside to you for a look at traffic. There's nothing wrong with trying to pick the perfect pumpkin, you know? <laughs> it might be some Cinderella's carriage, you never know. Well, you think we could have planned this a little bit better, right? Yeah, we're going apple picking and going to the pumpkin patch in these very cool temperatures across the GTA. Single digits right now. It's cold. I can almost see my breath as I'm talking. And yes, rain as well. Why not, right, Heather? <laughs> so we are in the wagon ride now, and this is something that everyone can do coming to Orchard Law Farms. We actually take the wagon out for uh, all our customers, go out to the apple orchard or out to the pumpkin patch. All right. And for this time of year, apple picking is pretty much done. You were mentioning that you guys have collected most of the apples now. Yeah, we're down to just one variety and we'll pick the rest of those this week and then they'll just be available in the market on the weekend. All right. And they have had a sellout kind of year. So it has been amazing for Orchula. And now we're into pumpkins and pumpkins I'm finding very trendy. You know, that's the pumpkin candle, the pumpkin soap, pumpkin pies. Have you guys done well? with the pumpkin sales? We've actually increased our pumpkin sales probably a fair amount. It is trendy. Lots of, cu lots of customers want pumpkins, pie pumpkins, different colored pumpkins. We've sold green ones and yellow ones and orange ones. And I mean, we all have, still have the white ones too. All right. So you can come and pick your pumpkin here at Orchard Law Farms. Next time you see us, we will be joining you from a pumpkin patch and we're probably going to need the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Rachel. Actually, Rachel Schutzen is, is at a pumpkin patch in Brampton uh, and such a lovely day to be out in a pumpkin patch. Rachel, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, we picked the perfect day to be out in a pumpkin patch. You can see our breath. It's so cold. My feet are sinking into the mud, and it's raining. Yeah. But you know what? Heather's brightening up the day. You're so lovely to be with. So let's take a little walk through the pumpkin patch. And you got to wear the right attire. And you were talking about the cross-pollination of some weird-looking pumpkins. Tell us about these guys here. Yeah, we got some yellow pumpkins this year. We got striped pumpkins. We're not sure what happened, but the bees had a really good time, so we ended up <laughs> with some cross-pollination going on. But you know what? Maybe it's the new variety. <laughs> and if you want something extra scary, come down to Orchard Lodge. You can get a striped pumpkin. And you were talking about the peduncle. What is the peduncle? The peduncle is the handle on your pumpkin, and you want a good, strong one because you want to be able to take that top out when you go to carve it. Awesome. So okay, so I'm going to pick up, I, I think this. Okay, so what do you think, Heather? The peduncle, is that a good one? Awesome peduncle, nice and strong and nice and long for you. All right, Emily, do you see that? This is a good peduncle. All right, another good morning to you. Rachel Schutzen joining you now, along with Heather, and we are at Orchula Farms. And Heather, I was picking apples here on Thanksgiving Monday, and you notice a lot of apples on the ground. What is done with all of these apples afterwards? We actually rake them out from the underneath the tree because we don't want the mice to get at the tree, so we rake those out. And then we take a, a big lawnmower or a big mulcher, and we mulch them and put them back into the soil for nitrogen for the tree for next year. All right, so no waste. Everything is reused here. But if you notice, not a whole lot of apples on the trees anymore. Sort of the apple picking season is over, but what can you still pick here? We can still pick Ida Reds for the rest of this week, and then we're going to pick them off on before the weekend. Okay, and also the pumpkins as well. We were already in the pumpkin patch, and I don't have a towel, 
all out here. So I think this muddy hand is going to be lasting with me throughout the morning. And temperatures are a little bit chillier. Tom, this is the first morning that I've been outside and I can actually see my breath. Yes, seven degrees right now. Yeah, it's a little bit on the brisk side, uh, but uh, definitely great time for apples. I had a red so they're a beautiful apple. Right now, let's go and have a look and see how we're doing. Well, thanks so much for joining us this morning. It is a dull, it is a chilly morning, but we're still having a lot of fun here at Orchula Farms. It is in Brampton on Heritage Road. Temperatures are chilly. I could see my breath earlier this morning, and we're not getting much warmer throughout the day today. 13 degrees is the daytime high for Toronto. Okay, Heather, now we are in the pumpkin patch that's a little more safe if you don't want to get so muddy. <laughs> this is what we call our pumpkin patch for, for beginners. For so beginners. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to put a 20 pounds of mud on your feet and you don't, or you're wearing your stilettos, this might be a good place to go. <laughs> Flip flops too, that's what you need here. Now, if you plant the pumpkin seeds from inside the pumpkin, a pumpkin should grow, but different for apples very different for apples. Apples trees have to be grafted um, and pumpkins we can grow from our seeds. All right so kids if you're saving every apple seed from all the apples that you pick this year unfortunately the tree it's not going to happen but stay with us throughout the show because we are heading back inside and we are going to finish carving our pumpkin and I'm going to show you what that looks like but first Tom I know you're going to show us what the traffic looks like. Good morning. Well, as red as apples, really, on a lot of the red zones uh, today as we head out onto the highways. Let's have a look. And some red leaves, too. Okay, a look at active weather there in force of nature, and that's what we are going to be dealing with throughout the day today. The showers are only going to get stronger and temperatures, yeah, they're cool. I saw my breath this morning as we were out in the pumpkin patch. And Heather, it has been a great morning with you guys here at Orchula Farms. How can people get in contact with you guys and what do you have in store for this week? We've actually, uh, will be open probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just because the weather's going to be kind of nasty for the next couple of days. We'll, we're open 10 till 6 on during the week and 9 till 4.30 on the weekends. All right, and you are located? At 9726 Heritage Road in Brampton. All right, and Heather, I know that you really want a lot of people to come this weekend because you guys are off. <laughs> we actually are getting the weekend off. Our kids are going to run the market this weekend on their own, so it should be a fun weekend for us, and we're, we're planning one for them, too. All right, so they're hoping for a lot of people to come. And I want to introduce you as well to the great pumpkin. Heather carved this during the break. Tom, Emily, what do you guys think? Enough of a scare factor in that for you? <laughs> Absolutely, but if I know anybody that I work with here at the Weather Network that loves and slightly obsesses about Halloween, would it would be this guy right really? here too. But it's a wet day, not exactly a perfect day to be out in a pumpkin patch, but that's exactly where we joined Rachel Schutzen. You are at Orshala Farms in Brampton, and Rachel, how are things going? You know what, Emily, despite this weather, despite the pumpkin hazards that we're facing here, it's a great morning. I love it. I have came prepared, though. Heather, someone comes to pick their pumpkin. What should they wear? Their rubber boots and their rain gear today. <laughs> and what should they not wear? We were sharing some stories off air. Maybe not the, the flip-flops and the stilettos for the <laughs> pumpkin patch. Okay, not stilettos. Now, Heather, in all seriousness, was frost an issue for you guys this year? Actually, no. Frost actually kills down the vines and leaves them nice and flat for us, so then people can find their pumpkins really easily. It, you know, it, it helps us out a bit and to get things re ready for winter. All right, so Frost is your friend here. Now, of course, if you want to pick a pumpkin here and meet the great people at Orchla Farms, it's on Heritage Road in Brampton. Emily, what do you think? Does this appetize you a little bit? Oh, Rubber really boots, muddy hands? Pumpkin. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, I was thinking that I would actually just wear this the next time I went pumpkin patch. And yes, I have stilettos on. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Who would go pumpkin picking in stilettos? I could barely walk down the hall. <laughs> that would be awful. And it's raining. It's wet and it's cool. But it's a perfect day to be heading out to a pumpkin patch, maybe doing a little apple picking. <laughs> I know there, there's a little bit of irony in my voice because that is where we find Rachel shoots him. But you're staying dry, aren't you, Rachel? Oh, yes, we are trying to stay dry out here. We are at Orchala Farms. And Emily, can you see me? Madasser is just pulling up with our camera here. And it is really a great day to go apple picking. I don't mind it. And what's 
the perfect way to pick the apple. You gotta turn the eye to the sky. The eye to the sky. So that's the bottom? The bottom of your apple is your eye, so when you turn it upside down, they pop right off. They pop right off. Okay, there you go. A good tip. We and we also gave you another tip about the pumpkins too. What do you look for for the pumpkin? Really great peduncle. A good peduncle. Emily, do you know what a peduncle is? That is the handle of your pumpkin. I've never actually used the term, but I'm going to see how many sentences I can incorporate into today because it's a fun word. <laughs> An uncle. <laughs> I like it. Thanks, Rachel. Well, even though it is a dull day here throughout the GTA, Heather, you are brightening up my day here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and we are in the pumpkin patch. And let's take a little walk here. So we're looking for the best pumpkin, and you guys have done some great pumpkin growing this year. We have. We've got lots and lots of pumpkins. We started with 4,000 seeds. We don't honestly know how many pumpkins we have, but there's lots. There's lots. And you got to dress properly to pick the proper pumpkin. And you got to look for the peduncle. The best peduncle you can find because you need a handle to take that top out. All right. So I'm thinking this one's probably a good one. What do you think about this one? Awesome peduncle. Awesome peduncle. And you can find the best peduncle here at Orchula Farms throughout the week. Thank you so much, Rachel. The one we got at our house is completely bent right over. So obviously I made a mistake there. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's take a look at our rainfall forecast. Well, we are in for quite a moist day here in the GTA. Maybe not the west best weather to uh, pick an apple or pick a pumpkin. Rain and on and off showers, yes, throughout the morning and now into the afternoon. The showers will be growing in strength. So if you're headed out today, you will need the umbrella and also... Bundle up because temperatures are going to be just about seasonal. Yes, the above seasonal warm trend that has now come to an end. Well, apple season, it has come to an end, and we are here at Orchard Law Farms helping them pick the last of their crop. You guys said it was a fabulous year. You grew a lot of apples, and I'm sure a lot of people picked a lot of apples, and now they're stuck with 100 apples. What do you do with all the apples? They'll store for a long time, but then you can also make all those nice apple crisps and the apple pies, and you know what? There's all kinds of stuff you can make with apples. And put apples in your salad, apples in your soup, and you gave us some recommendations for storing. Yep, you have to put them into a fridge. They need to store nice and chill. Um, always have a little bit of water in the fridge because apples do dehydrate. All right, so they need their moisture, and unfortunately, we're going to be getting a lot of moisture throughout the day today. On and off showers, growing in strength into the evening. Today on the show, if you missed it, Gonzalo is no longer Newfoundland's problem. The UK is going to be feeling the effects of what's left of the storm. Rachel Schutzen was a great sport this morning on a beautiful, cool and rainy day. She went out to a farm and told us what you should and shouldn't wear in a pumpkin patch. Rubber boots and their rain gear today. <laughs> and what should they not wear? Lip flops and the stilettos for the <laughs> pumpkin patch. We also spoke to meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum about good news and bad news in the long range forecast. Into the end of the week, into the weekend, this mild air starts to spread into southern Ontario. Make sure you join us again tomorrow morning, 530 to 9.